Howdy heretics and welcome to my bunker and we have good news today because Watchtower lost in the Netherlands. Watchtower went to court and wanted the Netherlands, uh, the government in Holland to not produce a report again about Watchtower's handling of sexual child abuse because Watchtower thought this information were scientifically wrong, unfactual and damaging for their reputation. So, I remember they used to say that the wise person will always listen to criticism and you should be looking for the rafter in your own eye. But anyway, this does not sit well with the governing body when it comes to sexual child abuse. All kind of criticism is unheard of and from Satan. But technically it's not from Satan, it's from the House of Representatives in the Netherlands. They commissioned a report from the University of Utrecht. So it's a pretty reliable source and I will give you the link in the description. So this is the summer in English and you will also get the report in Dutch and you Google Translate is your friend. But the funny thing is they was in court to stop this report yesterday. And that's the same day as they were in court in Stockholm to fight for the right for freedom of speech, freedom of expression, because they are showing R-rated movies to children and that's illegal. You're allowed to show R-rated movies to grown up but not to children because children get nightmares. And they're showing pictures that, you know, Armageddon, all the worldly people wants to kill us, or like in Yusea, that you should be willing to execute your father if you don't believe in Jehovah, stuff like that. And <laughs> that's not okay, but Watchtower say, you know, freedom of information is really important in Stockholm, but not in Netherlands. This should be censorship and no one should hear about this. But Watchtower lost, I'm glad because <laughs> if there's doubt what you should do, you should always protect children. So if there's doubt, should we protect Watchtower or the children? Always go with the children. So I have the summary. So it says, this study focus on the influence that pattern rules, costume and structures within the Jehovah Witness community in the Netherlands have on the manner in which sexual abuse of alleged or alleged sexual abuse are dealt with, as well as the willingness to report sexual abuse or alleged sexual abuse. One important conclusion of the study is the manner in which the abuse is handled within the Jehovah Witness community leaves victim or alleged victim of sexual abuse feeling insufficiently recognized and supported. So, this is several page summary and it's not a bashing of the Jehovah Witnesses, but <laughs> like they say, the wise men love criticism and the governing body, they call themselves the faithful and discreet slaves. So obviously, if you're discreet, you should like criticism. And here's some conclusions and recommendation. They say, we appeal to the community of Jehovah Witnesses to ensure better support and recognition of victims and alleged victim via measures such as, such as following. Provide more explicit information regarding the options for reporting the abuse externally or filing police report and or seeking external help as well as providing clear assistance with these external channels. Second, set them setting up an internal reporting center for victims of sexual abuse with adequate knowledge of the subject and of the internal and external options for victims. Clear agreements must be established within this reporting center concerning timely engagement of external parties for the purpose of reporting the offense and or supporting the victim. Compiling annual reports regarding the activities of the Internal Reporting Center in relation to its own website, follow believers, fellow believers and the public. Next point. Training and educating elders. That's a big one. Training and educator elders in how to handle 
in cases of sexual abuse in order to better equip them to provide support to victims. Next point, investing in openness and... <laughs> they won't like this one. Investing in openness and transparency in relation to sexual abuse and how it's handled. Watchtower likes secrets. Initiating culture change that establish clearer position for women. Oh, they won't like that one. It's the same as they said in Australia. Engaging in discussions with the community and with other parties, such as politicians, the police, the authorities, and the Reclaim Voices Foundation, concerning how to prevent and handle sex. This is so sad. I used to be a Jehovah Witnesses, and they are really nice people. And none of this is unreasonable. This whole thing is an acknowledgement from the, the Netherlands government that Watchtower are allowed to have kangaroo court system. They could say, you're stupid, you have to stop all of this. You are not a state within the state. But they say, okay, you want to have a stupid kangaroo system. You're allowed to do this. This is a democracy, but you cannot hurt children. Nothing of this is unreasonable. Okay, maybe they are wrong with some facts. According to this, they had like 900 interviews with victims, alleged victims, or rel relatives to victims. I can find it here. Uh, turn the wrong page. It's really sad. It says a total of 751 people shared experiences. These included 292 accounts of personal experiences of sexual abuse and 459 accounts of sexual abuse experienced by that's too many. Have you ever heard the expression rafter in your eye, governing body? <laughs> Wake up. This is not wicked lies from Satan. This is just the governing body. No, the government of Holland reaching out and giving you recommendations how not to hurt children. I'm I'm ashamed of being a witness when I read this because this is not unreasonable. This is not <laughs> from Satan. This is just nice people trying to help you fix a problem. It's really sad. So in Stockholm, imagine the same day as they tried to hide this terrible report. And uh, the Watchtower said that they still want to try to hide this report or something. Probably because they're afraid of losing their government tax exemption. And I think they should. Hashtag all religions must. Unless you respect human rights, you should lose your government funding. <sighs> so in Stockholm, I didn't go to Stockholm yesterday. I didn't have the time, but I was there last time. And uh, they were fighting for the right to show R-rated movies for children. And it's a funny thing how they they use theocratical warfare. They kind of break all the principles. First they say, we're fighting not for ourselves, but for the Pentecostals and the Catholics and their freedom of religion and freedom of expression. Witnesses believe that all Pentecostals deserve to die for the crime of being Pentecostals. And the governing body themselves believe they will be up to heaven, come back with an armor, and kill all the Pentecostals and the Catholics and so on. So, <laughs> but, and they also believe that friendship with the world is, a, a, what do you call it, being enemy with God. So still they go to the worldly court to protect the Catholics. And then when they interviewed a witness from, a witness, a worldly witness that has seen the, the R-rated movies, uh, in, uh, they asked him to describe the, uh, the, the videos and he said, well, most of them were normal, but some of them were more uh, like science fiction. And then uh, you have a witness lawyer questioning the witness. He, said, he was obviously a witness himself. He said, there were no... S s why would you say there is science fiction? There were no science fiction. And well, first, 
the lawyer is not supposed to act as a witness. Secondly, how would you describe a 100 foot tall Kenny Rogers on a flying horse using um, a bow and arrow as a weapon of mass destruction to kill 7.7 .7 billion people? What's the accurate word to use? <laughs> you could say flying horse. Yeah, science fiction is a good. <laughs> well, at least it's fiction. So it's a sad day for Jehovah Witnesses because I believe most of them are nice people. And they are told that we always go to court. We're, no, we always report to the police. And the elders are trained. The elders are trained to handle this. The elders are not trained. The elders are following direction. And the direct, direction is crappy. And the worldly people are not trying to kill us. They're trying to help us. This actually made me sad, but I'm glad Watchtower lost, because in this case, when Watchtower lose, the children are better protected, so. God bless the Netherlands. <laughs> so, happy day. You, probably John Cedars will make a much better breakdown of this, but I will give you the summary and the... the the report in Dutch. So, Google Translate is your friend. So, I hope you like this video. I hope you are among my 144,000 subscribers. Remember to hit the new light notification bell. So, see you in paradise.